why I hated high school. Hey crazy cats, welcome back to my channel. My arms out of frame channel. <laughs> So for my crazy cats that are subscribed, make sure you guys have post notifications turned on. It's just that little bell. If you pause the video, pause it right now. Well, after I say this and go scroll down, you'll see the bell so you can turn on post notifications so you guys know when I upload and you'll be the first one to see my videos. Oh, how cool is that? And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You're more than welcome to join the family small family but hey you know what you gotta start somewhere honestly like like Gary V says like even if one person watching you like that's better than none you feel me I always want feedback I love feedback from you guys positive comments negative comments I don't care just any sort of feedback lets me know like what's good today is a video that is more on the serious side you know just taking a walk down memory lane I guess you could say and I feel like this is a good video because it just allows me to look back and really think like just really think about what I was going through and maybe years from now I come back to this video and watch it so yeah let's get started <laughs> I graduated high school 2014 so that was four years ago and honestly that was like the best day of my damn life like I could not wait to get out of high school you know but it all has to start somewhere so we're gonna take a step back and I'm gonna let you guys know how it all started I don't even want to think about it for this video but I have to to tell you guys we'll do all three schools we'll do elementary school middle school and high school Oh, there's a bug. I just had to kill a bee. I'm so scared. I'll be back. All right, that was fucking crazy. I was filming it, and then all of a sudden the bee just came out of nowhere, and now Chubbs is next to me, so she's ruining my video. Whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna check the camera to see where I left off, and then continue this clip. So after that crazy bug interruption I'm trying to focus chubs is next to me everything's just going wrong oh and like today i got mcdonald's coffee right but look they gave me a dunkin donut straw like what is today bad luck day so we're just gonna jump right into it once again sorry 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 all these kids are probably amazing sorry but yeah, so we're going to do three schools, elementary school, middle, and high schools. So in elementary school, I was known as the popular one. Like, I was friends with everybody, you know? Like, I was just cool with everyone. I was the leader of my little clique, to be honest. But you know how other girls get jealous. And then they go against you. Like, I'm sorry, you're jealous, bitch, but damn. <laughs> I'm just gonna sum up all the schools and like, really get down in detail to when like, it got wrong, like, not wrong, but like, fucked up, I guess you could say. Yeah, so elementary school, I had a lot of, I guess you could say friends or acquaintances. I just talked to everyone, I was cool with everybody. So elementary school, cool, great, like for the most part, great to be honest. I don't really remember anything bad about it. And then there was middle school. <laughs> uh, so right when I got into the sixth grade, I lost my friends that I always would hang out with. Two other girls, I'm not gonna say names because that's rude. But yeah, like just the two other girls I would just always, you know, be with. So as you can see, it's already off to a bad start. All I remember is that. We were like in the lunchroom. You know what? I think I parted away from them because, you know, I went to a diverse school. 
and whatever you know people speak different languages stuff like that but the majority was hispanic people so they were like talking in spanish or whatever and like okay great i don't understand what you're saying but i could read people very well like i am fucking smart i was the smartest sixth grader ever just for knowing this like i could you know body language how we were acting like i don't even need to know what you're saying so whatever they would talk and then i was at the table with them and they're like laughing and stuff and i'll be like oh what did you say and then like you know like if someone's hesitating like to say what they said then you definitely know they're talking about you so then one day i just decided that i'm not gonna talk to them anymore and yeah i don't know like i could have stuck around i could have like just stayed with them just to have friends but i didn't because i don't want to be around people who are like talking about me in a different language like that's stupid i left them and then you know once you leave a group that you're so used to being around it's kind of hard to like adapt but then eventually i sat with these two other girls but they were not my type of friends they were very quiet and different and like i was so used to my previous friends being crazy loud and like whatever like more like me i guess you could say like these two other girls were just just so quiet and people it's just so quiet and like you know just not katie you feel me like i mean not that those other girls were me but they had like my energy like i was high i was like hey, hey, hey. you get the point so but i was forced to be friends with these two quiet girls because like i really didn't want to be alone and i know i just said oh i'm not gonna stay just have friends but whatever like in school you want to at least have like one person you talk to so those are the two people i sat with at lunch and especially at lunch you do not want to feel alone like it's so awkward yeah i hated middle school lunch like for real i just hated it because you're expected to like have friends and stuff like and if you don't have friends like you're not gonna sit in the lunchroom by yourself in middle school i didn't talk to everyone i that's when i started keeping to myself stuff like that i didn't really want to make new friends or if i did people were just like weird like they weren't willing to make New friends because there was just so many clicks i didn't necessarily get like bullied but feeling like alone and sad and depressed is just as bad in my opinion because like it sucks like either one sucks like people bothering you like they both equal out in my opinion like they equal out like i just felt alone i felt depressed i felt like i had nobody there for me type shit so school was personally hard for me because of those things like you know because the people make the environment type shit so and yeah i even had problems with self-harm i think i started in sixth grade to be honest it was actually yeah i think middle school I think I did that over a guy, which sounds stupid, but yeah. So yeah, middle school was just a disaster. And that's when everything started going downhill. It is really hot in my room. I just had to say that because I had to shut the AC off because last time when I was filming, you guys saw that the freaking ac was on i mean it, you heard it was on and it was like in the way but yeah so by the time i got my contacts are really weird by the time i got to high school i was used to having no friends being alone feeling depressed feeling like you know what like like it is sad to say but sometimes like i just felt like you know like why am i alive why am i here like life really does suck type thing and then in high school i happened to do self-harm again because you know what life was hard you know i can't really remember exactly why but all i know for a fact is that well i guess i do remember i, mean, I don't know if it's like a certain like reason that triggered me but i know for a fact that like i like i hated life and i don't know if my goal was like to necessarily kill myself but i did self-harm on my left wrist 
Yeah. Um, sweat it. Honestly, I'm sorry, y'all. I need to put my hair up. Literally, what I do for you to my AC's off, and it's a 90 degree day. If it wasn't for one person, I probably, I probably would have been dead. So, yeah, that person knows who they are if they ever see this. I don't know. It was a guy who was very helpful in high school, and yeah, like if it wasn't for that one person, I probably wouldn't be here. So it really scary and stuff but yeah like that's why i hated high school because one didn't have any friends two i felt alone three i felt depressed and the list goes on and on every day like I went, when i went to school like like you don't get it unless you go through it like just a feeling of like loneliness like everybody hates you type shit but yeah like don't get me wrong i did talk to people but it wasn't like real friendships you know so i guess nobody would ever expect this from me if they do happen to see this and even like for lunch like i would try to avoid having lunch in my schedule because i didn't want to go down in lunchroom alone and the only thing that made high school good was that i had my sister dina so when I did see her in the hallways or when we did have one or two classes together in that day, it made me feel so much better. So I feel like that really made me get through it or else I don't really know what would have. It's sad, but like, I don't want people to feel bad for me, but I just feel like what happened to me, like, I feel like what happened, like, I don't, I can't even talk. I don't even know like why it happens. Like I feel like I didn't deserve it. Like I was always nice to other people and stuff like that. So yeah. Also, I remember like on Halloween in high school, I was like a referee or something. So I was wearing the referee short, sleeve shirt, skirt, and then like whatever. The point is, like I was wearing a black sweater over it, so I could hide my cuts from other people. And it's just so sad, it really is. And I remember like talking to the person who helped me, who was there for me on that day. And it just really is sad, you know? But wow. Everyone just needs to consider other people's feelings. Like I feel like in high school, nobody gives a fuck or people are just constantly in competition to be better than others and maybe they're not aware of what they're doing to other people who knows but those are my reasons why i hate high school i'm just gonna go over them once again so you guys get the point of the video so just loneliness depression self-harm and yeah high school is horrible for me like some people be like oh my god like like i wish i could go back to high school those were the best days of my life and then me i'm like i don't want to go back and yeah it's years later and i don't I would never want to go back. I would never want to feel that way ever again. Now that I'm out of school, I have freedom. I can be myself, you know? I don't feel like trapped, so to speak. Like, I don't feel trapped. I don't feel like people are judging me, like even at work. I have a nice environment. Like I know everybody like, you know, likes me and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure that has to be someone who hates me, but whatever, you get what I mean? Like everyone's just really nice and friendly at work. Like it's just a whole, different vibe like school it really does mess with your head <laughs> especially around that age like when you're young and you're just like eh. to the people that are watching this that are in high school or in college i heard college is like you're more accepted there but whatever there could still be people suffering from loneliness or being bullied or whatever just no just think about it you never you never know what someone is going through so don't be a bitch, don't be a hater, don't be all these things because at the end of the day, you don't know what someone goes home to, you know? So yeah, like just keep that in mind. But, like for me, school was the problem. Like I didn't want to go to school, you know? Like I dreaded it every single day and it sucked. So yeah, that was my why I hated 
high school video. Oh my god, I literally have no idea right now. And it's hot in here. But yeah, that was my video on why I hated high school. I know people can relate out there. I don't even have to say maybe. Some of you guys can relate. I know there's a lot of people who can relate. And yeah, you'll just never know until you go through it. But like, I don't wish it upon anyone to be alone, scared, or even a bully, etc. So yeah, sorry, it's like such a down video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, anything that's just gonna let me know that you love my channel. And yeah, until next time. Oh yes, we always going close up now. I'm looking up at the, the screen. Until next.